Hi friends, welcome back to my crafty desk. Sandra here at Blossom and Inspire. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Still busy in the throes of Halloween stuff, but I wanted to hopefully get a couple of journals done to take with me on my trip to give to my aunts. I have two aunties that I would love to give a journal to and that I made. And I'd like to do it in person instead of mailing it to them. So I thought I'll go in the um, the 12, do you remember the 12? <laughs> it's been so long. How many do I have left? I have one, two, three. I, I clipped all this stuff on here into Holden Ship. So let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. I was pretty sure I made more than two. So I wonder if I added more to this box. I don't know. Well, whatever. Whatever. Let me see. I want to see what I'm going to do. Um, I don't think I'm going to work on this one right now. This had some things I wanted to do to it. So I'm going to, I want to try to choose things out of here that I've already kind of hopefully picked their front things. So this one, yes. So this one I had chosen. I had chosen. I had sort of glued it down. That's what, that's what this is all about. I didn't want to lose it. This is the cover for this one. And I just tacked it down in a couple of little spots. Okay, let's see. What, and I love the colors. It's going to be fall when I go. Yep, I think this is definitely one I can work on. And uh, <laughs> I don't know why I would do this to myself. I really, but it's so so important to me. And I want to do this too. Halloween's almost done, I think. I think this was too many parts and pieces. And I wasn't sure what I wanted to do here. And I think all this goes here. Don't know. I'm going to set this one aside for a minute. I'm going to steal its pieces, though, because I don't really know where they went. I have a box right here. I'm going to put them in. And, or I guess I should open it up and see. Did I put anything inside of it? <laughs> no, I don't have its pieces. So they're not sewn in. Um, this is like, I think this is closer to the beginning of when I started YouTube. Um, started YouTube, started yeah, being a creative on YouTube. I really like this. I feel like that is the cover. Don't you know? I mean, I can always add a little something here and on this, right? This little bird needs a, I mean, it's already got a ledge, but it needs a little something more. This is a possibility. So let's see. And like I said, I'm just going to keep these here. I have this piece here on top of this. This was from a Digi kit. We made, if you, re, I don't know if you remember or if you're newer here, I have a video way back when about when we were making um, journal toppers and we were I was using some digi kit pieces and lace and fabrics and I was just kind of layering them on you know the fun layering thing the fun old layering thing see this has got pieces but not like fabrics so I'm gonna put that one away and I'm pretty sure this one right here this was the same thing let me make sure yeah see I've got it's gorgeous but I don't think this is the one I think I had pulled these pieces out and I like the way that one ripped. It kind of reminded me of a butterfly. All right, we'll put that over here again, back over there again. Let's see what's inside here. Anything? Um, no, nothing. So, and I think, I feel like I was like taking pieces out of this one for some reason, whatever. We'll put this one aside. But I think this was the topper <clears throat> for that one. So I guess I can leave that like that. And I, oops, I took this topper away. Okay, let's see what else we have here. I have this one. I have all these clips on here because I, did, I didn't want to lose stuff. Oh, and so I have this pretty applique and I didn't know how, what part of it I wanted to use. So I didn't want to use the whole thing. It doesn't need the whole thing on the, the cover. Does it? I don't know. Is it upside down? I don't, I don't even know what I've done. So let's open it up and see, I suppose. Okay, this is the top. Yeah, I had it upside down. Of course I did. Of course I did. And yeah, I think this was another one. Was I taking pieces out of it? I don't know. I just really, truly don't know, but I do like it. And maybe I was trying to just put something up here on the top. That could have been it. And I was, I was like, I think that's what it was. And I couldn't figure out what part I wanted to use. I do like this one though. I think that's a possibility. Whoops. Let's see. I have another one. Whoops. 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 Here's one. And I made this journal topper for it. This tool is kind of big. So I'm thinking I want to take some of this off. And then. There we go. I think. 
Oops. I mean, that's pretty. It's pretty. It's feminine. I like it. Okay, possibility. Oh my gosh. Well, I only need two for my, I have two aunts, but I also have my cousin who I'm staying with at her house. I feel like I should probably take her one too. So, you know what? Let's, you know, I have a week. Let, let's make three journals. I have, a, I have a week. I have a couple of weeks, but I'm still working on Halloween. So if Halloween takes a week, let me see what my calendar is. This is where I'm at today. This is when I'm filming. Um, today is the 19th. Yes. So, okay. So if I can finish Halloween this week, <laughs> I should be able to. I will have one week to two weeks. I'll have two weeks to get three journals done. They're almost all done. So I'll really, all I need to do is get them sewn in and then add some pockets because I mean, every journal does not need to be stuffed fully and completely with everything, right? I can just, it's got my handmade, it's got my avocado dye, my coffee dye. It's got a jelly print in there that I've made. Um, they all have those things. I made the cover and then I just decorate it. I, I feel confident <laughs> at the moment. Here's another one. So I really like this one too. This is very plain. It's very Eastery though, but it's timeless. It's timeless, that, right? So what's inside here? That's also a possibility. See, I feel like, uh, I feel like this is, I feel like that's it. I feel like this is the thing. So, okay, let me get this down. So I like this one and I like this one. I think I wanna go with fabrics and laces for sure. And then um, I think maybe this one. This is another one, but it's just got a lot of lace. I feel like it's got too much. I have to figure it out still. This is the one that I I sewed, and, I, and then I put, oh, did I already glue this down? No, see? So, let me see what's in here, though. Nothing, all right, I mean nothing. There's stuff in there, but it's not, it's just the regular stuff, the regular stuff. What is the regular stuff? The signature, that's, what the, that's what's in there, the signature. Okay, so I'm gonna put these all back. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, let's see. I'm gonna put this one back. I really feel like this one's gonna go back. I'm gonna keep this one out just in case. But I'm gonna put this one back and I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna wrap this up again, wrap it up. But the good thing is, I think, is if by doing this, I need to make a few things for that and that would be fun to do together. Um, I need a project. I need to work on something other than Halloween because Halloween does tend to take over my life um, during this time of year. And I know I do it. I do it to myself, but I just can't stop. <laughs> Nor do I want to. But um, I do I do want to do other things. Uh, I don't want to burn myself out. So put that away. This one can go away in the box. And then I'll just put these clips in there for now. Here's my little box. I have everything in. So it is getting down, right? If, as long as I do this. This is just gonna sit aside for a minute. Um, don't have any idea what I was going to do with that stuff. But I think this is, will work. So I'll have one for each of my aunties and then one for my cousin who I'm staying with. So I have other family members out there. So is that okay to do it that way? It is, right? An auntie, an auntie, and then my the person that I'm staying with. That's fair. And then anybody else that I make something, I can mail it to them. All right, so this is the journal cover. This is the journal. Let's let's see what's going on here. So this one was pretty plain, but with this cover on there, I just felt like it was really pretty, and I can always add something to it if I want to. I don't have to. I think it's fine just the way it is. And these I made with um, mailing envelopes, those um, big manila envelopes, or they're kind of golden color. I covered them, this one, with a tissue paper and paint. So I've got white, which is I'm thinking is gesso on this side. I have different colored paints on here. And then after I got that done and dried, I put scrapbooking paper. I just glued it down. And then I made these pockets, which I glued down. I sewed, I sewn them, I used my sewing machine, and then I glued them down. So they look like they're sewn on here. So there's his pockets. Um, I think this was, I think this is for the spine. I think this is what this is. But since then is when I made the, I feel, or was this for a belly band? It could have been a belly band. Because I'm thinking that, 
this and this I don't like together. Do I? Do I? Do you? I don't know. I don't think it, I think it just needs lace, honestly, for timeless. You know, it's timeless, it needs just lace. And I don't think it needs a very big piece. I think it just needs something on the front because it's got this big piece right here. And maybe that'll help dress it up in the back. I need something back here. Okay, that's fine. I can work with that. Um, let's see about this for the belly band on the inside because this is the this is the signature here. And let's see what I put in here. So this was a digi print that I purchased. Linen paper, avocado dyed music paper, coffee dyed paper that I did, some of my stationery, one of my jelly prints that I did back then. It's got the white back, which is fine. Some blue paper for color, more coffee dyed, ooh, some vintage wallpaper. One of my favorite papers that I had avocado dyed, a pure white doily, um, a coffee, another coffee dye. So I don't have a middle. I would need to find something for the middle. Okay, I can do that. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull this piece out. I don't think, well, I don't, I just don't know. I just feel like the timeless in this is like very different. So yeah, that'll come out. I wonder what I have and should I, should I rob the other ones or just get different fabric? Maybe not even do it. That's just gonna add time. Time that I don't have. Okay, so I like that. That's good. How many, oh, and how many pages do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm not gonna count the doily. Eleven, I have 11 pages and a doily. And then this one, so I really like this one when I was putting it together. It's really cute, and then it's just still kind of loose because I wasn't sure, but I think it's plenty now. So I'll put this here. So I've got scrapbooking paper, um, looks like graphic, graphic 49, and then this is from a digi kit that I purchased, and then some lace and appliques, and then this back piece was from a digi kit also. So tissue paper, uh, Mod Podge on top of that folder. Again, that um, envelope. Pockets, again, I made. See, this this piece of fabric looks much nicer. So, oh, and they all have lace. So I'm thinking, I wonder if this was the belly band. And look at, I folded it, so now I have all those stupid creases. <laughs> They're not stupid, I guess. Yeah, I think it must have been a belly band because that's way too big for that. I'm gonna lay it flat for a minute and just leave that in there for a sec. And let's see the pages. Do we still like them? And are there 11 of these? So one, two, they should all have the same layout. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, I like that one. This was a, like getting the other pieces off, I think. Oh, I lost my count already. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't count that, and 11. Okay, yep, same thing, I, I need a middle. So we have that one, we have that one. And then there's this one right here, which I also love a lot. And I wanted that bird just to kind of be peeking out, so there's a butterfly and a bird. And I think this would be for my cousin. She's an artist, and I think um, create without fear, which she doesn't, I don't think she has any fear. She's, let me just leave that there. Same thing, pocket, fabric, lace. I'm gonna leave those there for a minute. Did I already make stuff for these? Huh, did I make, is, does everybody have one or did I already rob them? I might have already robbed them, isn't that funny? So one, two, three, four. Uh, so yeah, so five, and I have that. Six, seven, eight. Nine, I have that. 10, and then 11. You know what? I have, I think I have, there's thing, there, there are things that I made for this. I'll be right back. All right, I found my little, I, this was laying there. I had this on top, so I thought, I wasn't seeing, I have these bags. So each, when I made these journals, each journal had a corresponding tissue for the cover bag filled with goodies. So that's not it. I have this one right here. Pretty sure this went with, this one either went with this plain one 
this one. It goes with the stitching one. This is, oh, the bird one. So I know that's gonna go over there. Here's the other one that I put away. I put that away, I put that away. Oh, this was the purple one, so this must go there. And I must have robbed this bag basket for other things. Oh my gosh, okay, so I know this one has a pack. This one has a pack. Oh, wait, this pack is probably in there because I've seen those pieces. Oh Lord, somebody help me. Help me, save me for myself. So, let me see. Let me see if I have it all in there because these go with those. And I guess we'll just take a pack. We'll open this pack and see what's in there for this bag. Okay. So we have the bag. So the bag can go in there. And you know, honestly, well, except for the fact that it's a, I can use any piece of paper, I guess. But I think, if I remember correctly, I had a hard time with these papers, these this orange paper. So I may switch this out because it was something that was not appealing to me last time. So but there's this bag that can go on any paper, probably like a white, if it's big enough. And it's not, of course. Of course it's not, but I still have this bag. Anyways, okay, stop with that. Stop with that nonsense. Let's move this over here for a second. Every bag has the same thing. Let's start again. <laughs> so I have a bag, and then this one, if, I, if it's all out, and I have these two pieces just willy-nilly floating around, maybe they come to this. I don't know. Let's see. I have this piece right here. So do I have one of these? Let's look in this pack here. I have... Yes, so I have that, okay. So what that is, this is a just a greeting card and I took the wallpaper, I think it was the wallpaper that I used inside the journal and then I did a, just a, um, whatever, what's it called? Collage, a little bit, and I just have the tone. This one has wallpaper and, and um, scrapbooking paper. So let's see. And this will help me because if I already have them set where I want them, then I just will follow this journal and that will make it a lot easier. So I have this piece right here, so that's good. Um, so let me take this, open, let me open this. I don't know that I'm gonna use that. That's my, Jamie gave me these and I still haven't used them. She gave them to me a long time ago. All right, um, let's see what's in here. Okay, there's the back, and I used it on the back of the wallpaper, so there we, we have the back right there. And then this piece right here, oh, yes, that is, oh, one of these old time cards. I just folded it over. It's kind of stiff, but it's gonna make a nice pocket. So I have that, and the doily, and there's that, let's see, on the flip, on the back side of the signature. Should be finding some more pieces here. Should be. So I have this piece right here, which is just a little six by six scrapbooking paper um, pad, and I just folded it in half, I believe, and then made a little notch. And I actually used my, I wanna say I used my envelope punch board to make that little notch. And so that would just need a tag. So I don't have this one in here. Not to worry, I have some more six by six pads. I can make that. And then we have that, that, and that, and that. So makes me wonder if these belong in here. Well, not that one. But see, I have this one there, and I have this card. I believe, so this is really heavy duty, and this is also, this was, um, you know, bathroom familiar objects. I think this is a game or a, a word for, for kids to learn. And this is a, one of those, uh, flashcards so they're both kind of flashcards so they're both heavy duty this I just put paper or it's um like a lighter weight cardstock and I just made this crisscross pocket so I mean it's you kind of have two pockets there when you do that and then I made these tags I never finished I never finished any of this stuff I just was in the process and then it got put to the side and then I started a YouTube channel and then I used some of them and then it got put to the side and I can't get this in there so Maybe that's why. I'm pulling this. It's too heavy anyways. I think that's why this one's missing it. So I'm going to pull those out and do something different with them because I'm tearing it up. <laughs> Shucker. And then 
this, maybe I, I don't know why I have this in here. This is one of those other pockets that I made with the with the double thing there. So let's see what the other books have because I'd like them to all have the same amount of stuff. Um, and this one didn't have anything back here in the pocket. It did have this fabric here. Okay. So let's just do that. This one's done. And um, let's see what this one has. Sorry, I got quiet there. I heard this noise of paper. I was like somebody like somebody was in my craft room with me and I'm looking all over the place. There's nobody in here, which is good because it's just me and my husband home and he's upstairs. And I just, I'm looking around like somebody's moving stuff and it kept happening. So anyhow, I just seen all my baggies fall and they were just like sliding out, making a little no noise. <laughs> Does anything like that ever happen to you in your craft room? You're just like, you think you're by yourself or wherever you're crafting, you think you're by yourself and then all of a sudden you hear all these noises, you're like, um, what's happening? What is happening? Okay, so I'm just gonna spread this out. I know I'm gonna do that, that, and that. I know this I'm gonna pull, um, this I'm gonna pull, and this I'm gonna pull. So we have this right here for this tag. Um, and I just can't remember which ones I have, so I'm just gonna go through them slowly. Thank you for your patience. I do think I'm gonna flip, switch out this orange paper. Um, if you watch the video that I did before that had one of those in there, I really struggled with it. I, I, I liked it, but then I didn't like it when I was like putting things together. It was just not fun for me. So that one's there. And then I think, did I only have like one thing on this side? Right here, this. And I don't have one for that one. So I can either make more or I can pull that. But whatever I do, I need more things for the back side of this. Just a couple. Yeah, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to be able to do this. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to do this. That goes with that one. And these all go in here. Now I can do that. And this gets pulled. And this is going to go into another. We'll just do something else. Another project with these. Um, see, this one, one of them doesn't even have their card. So I must have stolen that from somewhere at, along the way as well. Okay. Well, so be it. So be it. And then, oh my gosh. But I also have my basket. Was anybody else saying, look in your basket. You had it. You had a lot of stuff in there. So I do have a lot of stuff. I think this is what I was using to make the toppers. Let's see what else is in here. I do have things I can make pockets with. So I have these um, pieces that I had already pre-cut. So that might work. Um, I have these cute little cards, which would be fun to do. And I could put like their, you know, like me. I don't know what I could do. I could do something fun with those. Let me pick three of those out. And... Um, they all have an envelope already, so I don't think I'm going to use these little pieces here. I think that's going to be too involved. I won't have time. Um, let's see. What are these? This is just card stuff, but it's natural color. I'm going to take three of those. Something to play with on it. Okay. So I have one, two, three of those. I have one, two, three of those. And who's telling me I should make a fourth one just so that I remember what I'm doing? Thank you for that. And then, what about these? I feel like um, any of the colors would go, right? Any any colors would go. I think that one would be a creamy color for sure. Um, this um, one over here, I think I could do the green one, yes. And then, where's my other one? I don't even remember where it's at. Here it is. I, I, I already lost it. Okay, so there's that one. I know, and I know, and then there's this one, which, let's see the inside. Um, I think I'm going to go cream on this one, too. Okay, there we go. And then I'll just take, I'll find one over here to do with the, I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. Okay, so there we have that. Um, and then I accidentally dropped it up. Okay. So now we have those pieces. Um, let's see, what else do I have in here? These are just parts and pieces to make things with or to add things in. So I can just leave them in here for now. This was from a punch. These are these little flowers. So I think I, my plan was going to use these to make like little closures, which I can do that later. Right now I haven't committed, I, haven't, I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm gonna leave that in there just in case. 
Oh, and I also wanted to use some guest checks. They're pretty simple and easy and fast to decorate for um, a, a journal card. I'll take three of those. I'll take four to make an extra. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Stick those back in there. These were, um, oh, something else I was making a while back, but I only have one in there, so I'm not gonna worry about that. And then um, I'm just gonna stick these back in here for now. And I'll get those, you know, put away. It, hopefully by the end of the year. <laughs> All right, so, and I think, okay, yep, there's other things that were stuck in here. So, in between these bags. So, oh, I guess I could do these little bags. Remember these? These were cute to do, um, to make for like, to stick this belongs to. Okay, I'll do three of those. And um, let's just see what's in here. If there's anything I can rob, can I rob you? Nope, I, I was looking for those um, other pieces, six by six journal pieces, but I don't have them. All right, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna go put this stuff away and I uh, will come back to this part. Okay, whoops, whoa, I almost fell out of my chair. <laughs> All right, so I'm back and I thought, I'll just go ahead and make, there's a couple, where's that one at? We'll just get that one done really quick. Is it in here? Where, where, oh, where are you? Here you are. So let's just take it out. And all I did was take a paper and I folded it in half and did that. But I don't know that I necessarily have to have that color. It's, it looks fine. And maybe grab another couple. These aren't double sided and that's okay. I don't know if any of these are gonna be okay. I think that'll be fine with that one. And then um, um, I do have this one for this one. Let's see gonna be a mad mess everybody be are you ready are you ready <laughs> okay I think this one can still go with that one is that the one it went with don't even remember who did I take you from yeah I'm already like an I'm already like a big old it's a, it's a show <laughs> it's definitely a show so, okay I like this one will that one work I mean it's pink it's more pinky. pinky. I think it'll work. Okay, we'll do that one. And I think this one will still work for that one, I believe. Um, yeah, why not? Why not? And if I don't like it, I can always switch it out later. But I think for now, I like that. These are, um, got these little perforated edges, which I can still use to decorate. You know, one of the nice things about not doing this yet is, and, only, and doing it now is that um, a lot of my things that I've learned and design techniques and things that I'm, as I've been doing YouTube, I'm finding that I really like to play with and do are gonna be incorporated because they weren't before. So all I did was fold them in half. Can you cite what I'm doing? So sorry. I folded them in half, just like so. I have a tool stuck to me. Um, so there's that one, and then I'm gonna fold this one. Now the other one's double-sided, and they don't have to be double-sided, it's just the inside. I think I was just using those papers up because I, they weren't my favorite, and um, I thought I had more of them, but I'm guessing I got rid of, used them and got rid of the rest because I don't see them anywhere. And then I used my punch, my paper, my envelope punch board, which I have no idea where I did with it because you know I cleaned up and organized again. Let me see if here it is. Found it. What do you know? Here it is. Here. Let me get it out. I'm pretty sure because the knot reminds me of it. <clears throat> Thinking. What? Gosh, I haven't used it in a long, long time. So this is from, I got this from Stampin' Up! And I like it a lot. Actually, I really do. Um, it's got a little bone folder in there. A little tucks right there. It gives me the size chart. And then it also gave me a paper size chart in case I wanted to go outside of those boundaries of what they have set. The only thing I don't like is that I really <laughs> rely on this piece right here to score down into. And it's only that long. So if I was to buy... <clears throat> If I, had, if I did not have an envelope punch board, I think I would buy one that's longer, that has, it's multi-use, like has a scoreboard on it, has the lines going this way. Do they even make those? Somebody needs to if they don't. But I think this is what I, I think this is the thing that I did, is it right there? 
So you decide what side you want your little punch to be, and I think it's this side right here. And yeah, gosh, was I even on there? Let me do it again. So it gives me that cute notch. So on the scoreboard, on the envelope punch board, sorry, on the envelope punch board, this is, so this is, um, I bought it from Stampin' Up. It's We Are Memory Keepers. Oh, I didn't, Stampin' Up and We Are Memory Keepers, are they the same or did they partner? I have no idea. Anyhow, so when you're making your envelopes, you're measuring, you know, here, and then you're scoring here, and then you use this little punch thing to do your little divots so that you can fold your papers in, right? Well, I like that little divot mark. It's so cute. So I like to use it just for my little, my little thumb punch. So I like the roundedness I, over the sharp edges sometimes. And when I use my paper punch where... I was not prepared. <laughs> I'm like, let's just do something. So when I use my paper punch, um, let me just use a piece of paper here to show you what I'm talking about. Oops. If I can find a piece of paper that I don't mind just destroying. Here, let's just destroy this. So this paper punch, when I'm doing our hole punch, this hole punch, it's a round one. But when I make my hole punch, which I use these all the time, I like them, and I probably have one in here. See how these edges are kind of sharp? I don't like them. So a lot of times I'll be cutting them down. Um, I don't have my good scissors over here, dang it. I need to go get them. So I think they're upstairs, and I just sometimes I just go around them like this anyways, if I remember and have time. I just don't like the sharp edges. So when I did that, and when I was making envelopes, I noticed that it was already rounded, and I thought, oh, I kind of like that. So there you go. Probably, I'm sure maybe maybe everybody already knew that, but if there's one person who didn't know that, then um, there we go. I'm going to do some distressing on it. And if I this is where if I don't really want that white there, I would just, I can put some color in there. I can do, I can stencil on the inside. I don't have a stencil here. Ooh, I wonder, I wonder, look at this. I have that tool that I tore, let me see. Would that work? Oh yeah, it's kinda, it's kinda cool. Use what you got. <laughs> Use what you got, right? Okay, let me see. Doesn't really show up, but um, I think this would be really fun on something else because it, by itself it shows up. There, cute, cutie cute. Okay, and now I have um, um, dyed my tool. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that and get that to be the same. And I, I want to say these were gonna be my middle pieces, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I did that on one of my journals. And I didn't sew it the way I wanted to because I, I wasn't paying attention, of course. <laughs> and um, and because when I did it in the middle, let me show you, just in case you didn't see that video. When I did it in the middle, I I did it to um, I, I had already sealed the shut and the dangles were and it was hanging was it hanging out or was it stuck inside? Whatever it was, I didn't like it, so I thought I don't want to do that again. But I do want the pocket, so I've got that pocket in there. And let's get this one done. I think I'm going to do the same thing with the tool since that's fun. And I'm just going <laughs> to, I'm just going to, you know, add more to my plate. I'm going to try to get three journals put together to the, I think I can, I think I can do it as long as I just do one thing at a time and focus. Like they already have their pieces. So maybe find that middle piece, that middle page, get that um, figured out, and then just get the journal sewn in to the, get the signature sewn into the cover. If I just do that, then I'm forced to just decorate the pages and I can just do one thing at a time. I hope that makes sense and I hope it works out. And then unlike the Halloween project, I'll just go with the flow with this one. Like I already have these pieces. <clears throat> and so I just won't add, I'll just add like one or two things at a time and then work on those things. That's my plan. But I don't know about you, but sometimes I have a, the best lead, the best plan that I think I want. And then all of a sudden <laughs> um, I'm thinking of other things 
and I feel like, oh my gosh, if I don't make it or put it together right away, then I'm gonna forget. So you guys, don't let me do that. <laughs> Hold me to this. Because we all make these things, right? It's the best thing to be able to hand somebody something in person. I mean, I love getting mail and sending mail and stuff, but being able to see them in person and hand them to them in person is a wonderful thing. And my one auntie, <clears throat> who I'm going to see, I haven't seen her in, oh my gosh, I think almost 20 years, or has it been 20 years? So, and that sounds like a long time, but the last time I went to New York, I was thinking, the last time I went to New York and I seen her, my daughter was 15, and my daughter just turned 35. Yes. Oh my gosh, I think I forgot to call my daughter on her birthday. Oh, I'm a horrible mother. Oh. <sighs> Anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this and get these together and I'm gonna cry when this video is over because I feel bad. Oh man, all right, so <clears throat> we know we're gonna do these and I know how we like to do these already because I have some already pre-made and I'll just follow that. <clears throat> and I'm gonna ink these up. I'm gonna go ahead, I think I'm gonna just decoupage on these, some of that napkin and I'm just gonna grab something handy Maybe I'll do one of my new napkins. I'll make them all the same. So I think they're pretty easy going. These pockets are cute. And I think I'm just going to add some stitching around these. And then put a little word on those. And we can do that together. I should have grabbed another one. So we could do four. These I have no idea yet. So I'm going to set these aside. And then if they don't make it in there, I don't feel bad. Because I didn't invest any time in it. But these three pieces and these things, I already know what we're going to do. All right. <clears throat> okay, so I, obviously I have to go um, have some coffee or something because my throat's getting tired. <laughs> so I guess we'll pick this back up on the next video, working on this. And in between this, I'm going to keep going on Halloween to get that done. And I just wanted to give you guys something else to, to look at. And hopefully everything will be done in time and I can actually do something for Christmas <laughs> this year. All right, I'll see you on the next video, my friends. Enjoy all your moments. Bye.